Well, hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber. And today, I'm going to teach you how to calculate BTUs. We're going to take a virtual block of ice, we're going to melt it into water, and then we're going to vaporize that into steam. And we're going to calculate how many BTUs it takes to do that. Hang on, it's a bit of a mathematical ride. So before we get started, there is one thing that you need to understand. This is not one simple formula. This is actually six separate formulas that you're going to have to do. And you're also going to need to know the difference between sensible and latent heat. And if you don't know the difference, no problem, I have a video on that. I'm going to post a link in the description below. So here's the example that we're going to work through. I've got a 95 pound block of ice. It is at 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's frozen, right? So I want to raise up the temperature until it melts and then continue to raise the temperature of the water until it turns into steam at 237 degrees Fahrenheit. So the question is, how many BTUs will be consumed in this process? First step, let's take this block of ice, which is at 5 degrees Fahrenheit, and heat it up to its melting point at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a sensible heat calculation. First of all, we need to figure out the delta T, or the difference in temperature. So I'm simply going to take 32 degrees Fahrenheit and subtract off 5 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to find out, hey, I need to heat up this block of ice 27 degrees to get it to its melting point. Now there is one more important piece of information that we need to know before we get into the calculation. That is the specific heat capacity of ice, which is 0 0.5, which incidentally is the same as steam. Now we get to take all these numbers and just plug it into our BTU formula, which is mass times delta T times specific heat. So we have a mass of 95 pounds times our delta T of 27 degrees Fahrenheit times our specific heat of 0.5. We're just going to multiply that out, and this is the answer we come to. So to heat this block of ice up to its melting point, we are going to consume 1,282.5 BTUs. Now let's write down this number somewhere because we're going to need it at the very, very end of all this process. Second step. Let's take this block of ice and completely melt it into water. This is a latent heat change. So the calculation is going to be a little bit different. There is no delta T because there is no temperature change. What we do need to know is the latent heat effusion, which is 144 BTUs per pound. Now we're simply going to take that number and put it into our latent heat formula. BTUs equals mass times the latent heat effusion, or 95 pounds times 144 BTUs per pound. This is what we get. So to completely melt this block of ice, we are going to consume 13,680 BTUs. Once again, let's write this number down because we need it at the very end of all our calculations. Third step, let's take this 95 pounds of water and heat it from 32 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to its boiling point, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a sensible heat calculation. First thing we need to understand, the specific heat of water is 1. Next, let's calculate the delta T. I take 212 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and I get a nice round number, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That is my delta T. Let's plug this into our formula. BTUs equals mass times delta T times specific heat, or 95 pounds times 180 degrees Fahrenheit times 1. To heat this water all the way up from its freezing point to its boiling point, will consume 17,100 BTUs. Once again, we're going to write that down for later. Fourth step. Let's take this 95 pounds of water and vaporize it into steam. This is a latent heat calculation. Now, one number that we will need to know for this is the latent heat of vaporization, which is 970 BTUs per pound. So let's plug this into my formula. BTUs equals mass times latent heat of vaporization, or 95 pounds times 970 BTUs per pound. To change 95 pounds of water into steam, we'll consume 92,150 BTUs. Once again, and we're going to write that down for the very end. We're getting close. Fifth step. 
Let's take this steam which is at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and heat it all the way up to 237 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a sensible heat calculation. So first we need to know the delta T. So I take 237 degrees and minus 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm left with 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's go plug this into my formula. BTUs equals mass times delta T times specific heat. Now remember, specific heat capacity of steam is 0.5. So, BTUs equals 95 pounds times a delta T of 25 degrees Fahrenheit times 0.5. So to heat that steam up 25 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll consume 1,187.5 BTUs. So we're going to write that down, and it is time for the final step. This is the easier one. I'm going to take all the BTU values from steps 1 through 5 and add them together. And this is what it should look like. So we are left with 125,400 BTUs that were consumed to bring this block of ice all the way from 5 degrees Fahrenheit up to 237 degrees Fahrenheit of steam. Unfortunately, there are no shortcuts for this. This is a long, ugly formula. But this brings us to the end of our video. Now this was math, so you can just leave a giant thumbs down for this one. Because nobody likes to do this. This is terrible. So I hope you have a good day after we recover from the math.